What's up, everybody? This is Crypto Muscle. This is coming to you with another YouTube video. And so, international now, worldwide syndicated. And you know what sucks? This sucks, all right? Uh, this is take two of this video, Finca Funds. Because take one, my recording software that I do for my videos, all of a sudden froze and I cannot pull up the original recording and so with that this is take two of Finca funds and so in that video I actually did a withdraw of 223.50 and I walked you through the process of such but because my software crapped out on me I can't do that now I have to do it all over again Except that I can't do the withdrawal because it's already in process. So, oh, and I let the cat out of the bag on that one. So, all right. Uh, so here we go. Fika Funds. International now, worldwide, syndicated. Back on task here. All right. And this is what it's all about. Diversification at its finest. All right. And so diversification is what I'm all about. It's all about um, having... For me, I, I look at it like this, all right? Diversification, just having an array of platforms to be involved in because I always look at it as something like this, all right? That, you know, you just need levels of risk and it's like looking at a stock portfolio, right? There's always going to be levels of risk in a stock portfolio because that's how you maximize your fullest potential in terms of earning you know, money in stocks, right? You're going to have your your high risk, low risk, and medium risk stocks, right? And, you know, you're going to have good days with some and bad days with others. But in the, uh, and, but in the end, it balances itself out and you're going to maximize your earning potential in stocks, right? So the same with to me is I look in platforms. Uh, you're going to have some high risk ones, some low risk ones, and medium risk ones, right? Um, but in the end... It, it all balances out and we're still growing. That's the bigger picture that I look at. And that's why I get involved with an array of platforms. Um, to me, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as I continue to report what goes on with them, because that's just being responsible and being able to, uh, you know, keep you guys, like I said, report and informed on these situations that may come about. And I look at everything as, well, timing is everything. And when it comes to timing, which is everything, you got to maximize it to the fullest potential. So it's always going to be the earliest maximizes that fullest potential. And that's how you take advantage of these platforms. You want to get in it as early as possible. And the reality of it all is that no one place is safe in crypto, all right? It doesn't matter if it's platforms, exchanges, uh, institutions, whatever. All right, none of that stuff is ever going to be safe and surefire. All right, it's, there's always going to be something that comes up and it's all about you as a person staying, paying attention and staying on top of things. All right, so when I say all that, all right, all platforms are risky. And if all platforms are risky and it doesn't matter if it's low risk, high risk, medium risk, doesn't matter. Exchanges are, are not safe. They're all risky, right? Everything and crypto is risky. Again, it's all about personal responsibility. You got to do what you got to do to make sure you take responsibility for your actions. Whew, man, that's a lot I covered there, right? <laughs> and so, lastly, I don't tell nobody what to do. All right, you make your own decisions. I'm not in your brain. I'm not controlling your motor functions 
You are the one that thinks. You are the one that pushes the keyboard. All right, but enough of all that spiel, all right? Whew, man. Um, all I got to say is that you can listen to the guys like the things that tell you to stay away from everything, but yet give you nothing, or you take advantage of these things and start winning. All right. The muscle train. A lot of space to come on board that muscle train. And we could ride a space mountain together. All right, to the top, together. Or we could wait the train station. Doesn't matter. It's up to you. All right, so enough of all that stuff. Fika funds. Fika funds, Fika funds. All right. Looking at this here, you got 12% daily for life, $15 minimum, $5,000 max. And 30% here daily for 10 days. 251 to 10,000 max. And so far it's been five days in. Okay. So with that, let's take a look at the facts here. You got lifetime and you got for 10 days. Lifetime could be a long time. If it's right, done right. And I'm not the admin. I really don't know what their intentions are. But the longer the better, right? 12% daily for a lifetime. How long is a lifetime? Could be months, days, weeks. You know, it all depends. Again, it's all about doing your research and what you believe in. And here's another fun fact. $251 can get you into either one of these. Which one are you going to do? If you have 251, right? When you look at, you could go into either one of these. So I'm in the 12% daily for lifetime. Because I want to see how long it's going to pay. Lifetime or forever is for however long they're going to pay you until they stop paying. I mean, that's just what it is. Interesting here is uh, they have 10% referral commission. So, with the 10% referral commission, that's just one line. So, there isn't like three lines. Typically, it's like two to three levels. All right? But this one's only one level. So that's cool. Nothing wrong with that. And so, what do they have to offer? Fast withdraw, 24-7 service, guaranteed fixed income, highly qualified traders, and then when we look at, uh, let's see, recent stuff here. Look at Loki here. Look at that, $1,300. And uh, some decent deposits here when you look at it, right? 255 here. 100 150 Last 10 withdrawals. Let's see what we got here. Um, decent size withdrawal, 370 for this one here. Pretty good size. All right? Not too bad. And we have all that there. All right, so let's go inside now. Take a look inside. And uh, as you can see here, whoops, just trying to refresh it. So in my video that I recorded before it didn't allow me to, um, you know, transcribe, it just disappeared all of a sudden. It's like, shit, I got to do this all over again. But I walked it through the process of withdrawing. And uh, let's show you that right now. All right, so you have all your wallet addresses set up. When you sign up, you sign up, right? And then what you got to do is you go into your settings. When it, once you are signed up and signed in, you go into your settings and you can set all your wallet addresses, right? And then from there, you could put in your um, deposit by going to invest. Yeah, with that, I'm just going to do that right now. So you pick your plan. You want 12%, you want 30%. $15 minimum or 251 minimum. And you choose. All right? And I think this is a typo here. It's supposed to be for 10 days. So 12% daily for a lifetime or 30% daily for 10 days. All right, and so with that, I'm trying to go for lifetime because the longer it can go, the better it is, right? 
that's just the way I look at it. I'm looking at the big picture. Plus, at the same time, the classic golden rule in high yield platforms that I've always followed by in principle is the plan to the left. All right? If you have a left and right or a plan on top and bottom, it's always going to be the plan on top or the plan to the left. It's, it's, I don't know if it's like a good luck charm thing or, or what it is, but I've always done it that way. So plan to the left. All right. And then put in the dollar amount. And then you put in either Bitcoin, Litecoin, Doge, Ethereum, Ripple, Tether. That's TRC Tether, Tron, and BNB. And then make, tape, make the payment. And then nine times out of ten, 9.9999 times out of 10. If you do it right, you follow the instructions, then you'll be just fine. And, you know, you'll get rolling and all that stuff, right? The problem is sometimes when you put, let's just say Bitcoin. If you don't put in what they tell you to put in because you're a dumbass, and let's just say you put in 500 bucks, and it tells you to send 504 because they're trying to cover blockchain fees. But your dumb ass still puts 500. And then it makes you fall below what you've been trying to deposit because you didn't follow directions. So that's how important it is to follow directions if you want it set to the way you want it. And so with that, you choose the one I, that you want to do. I did Bitcoin. So I'm in for Bitcoin. And then that's where it's at. So two thousand dollars in Bitcoin. Go big or go home is what I did. And that it had a balance of two twenty three fifty. So when I walked it through, and that I don't even know what I, why the video did that to me. <laughs> it sucked. So withdraw right, and you. This was highlighted, so I just put in 223.50, boom, with the withdraw, and then it said withdraw is saved, right? Because if you read the FAQs for FICA funds, right, even though it says withdraw is saved, and I know it's kind of a taboo <laughs> phrase in crypto, right, um, they did say in the FAQs here that they pay with up to 48 hours. So how quickly can your request for withdraw? Your request will be processed in the fastest time frame possible. Ask for the online availability or staff up to 48 hours. See, so you got to keep that in mind up to 48 hours. So it's not instant. That means it's manual. Keep that in mind that that's what was set up here and so with that though uh, you just got to be patient and see if it follows through so my part is I will provide you guys an update if that is the case and if that's not the case well then I kick it to the curb and we just go on right move on but um, but with that though it's still early it's only five days and I'm looking to go the lifetime of the run of FICA funds. So it's all up to them how long they want to keep it running. And I keep taking. Um, other in interesting stuff here. What payment systems. We already covered that. Uh, minimum withdraw. One cent for perfect money. Five dollars for Litecoin. Dash and Tether. Nine dollars in Doge. And Bitcoin Cash, fifteen dollars in Ethereum, and lastly nineteen dollars in Bitcoin. So I have more than enough for Bitcoin, two twenty-three fifty, and we're just gonna see what happens with that. So with that, that is fake funds. I know that some people are waiting for the latest update, so I got it first thing here in the morning. Check it out. Links down below. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about all this. And it's all about diversification at its finest. And so other than that, chat it up in the Telegram group with me if you're looking to chat it up. And I'll see you in the next one.